Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to our channel. And we are finally getting to the fun bits of our Proxmox media server. So let's get started. Up until this point, we've been just building a foundation for our Proxmox media server. The first thing being a NAS, which allows us to access the files or share the files that we have. Jellyfin server, which is our media center, which will utilize the files that we have and our internal OpenWRT router, which now we are finally gonna start utilizing. Now the services that we're gonna be installed is basically called the R stack, A-R-R or like pirate R. Now I'm gonna be showing you how to install each one of these services to our Proxmox server, but I'm not actually gonna be going into the application to show you how to install each one. I will describe you what they do and how to utilize them, but it's up to you to figure out what you need and how the instance works for you. So with that being said, let's jump into the desktop. So here we have our Proxmox, and this is the same Proxmox that you guys have been following for the past couple of episodes. And you could see I still have, well, one R service, which is Sonar, and then I have our test machines. Before I jump forward, I'm gonna take a look at summary just to see where I'm at with all the services. And we can see that we are using about 1.82 gigs of RAM and barely any CPU usage. Well, technically I'm not really using Jellyfin yet on this service, but I still have a lot of headroom for more services because I do have more RAM. Even though I do prefer more RAM, uh, eight gigs is still enough for what we are doing. So far, everything seems to be great. Now, a couple of videos ago, I did mention about helper script and we are gonna be using this a lot to build the services. So definitely go check that video out. And with that being said, Let's begin. Now, have you seen the video where I actually play around with the Z pool? Um, I was able to join our NAS server with our Sonar server using specific mount points. And we're gonna be doing the same thing for each and every container that we are building from here on out, but we're also attaching it to the OpenWRT so everything will be routed through a VPN. Now, heading into the shell of PVE test, I'm gonna start running our scripts. Now, the first thing what you want is probably somewhere along the lines of a deluge or transmission or Q BitTorrent, depending on which one you prefer. I prefer deluge myself, so I use this. So in that case, I'm just gonna copy this script and use this instead. And then I'm gonna paste this into this area. I'm gonna proceed with creating deluge. And yes, I do have two test machines over here that I'm not really using, but I'm gonna keep them because they're always useful for testing stuff. Again, I'm gonna leave this as default script and let this all install. Now, before powering this up, we do have to do a few things to it so we can't just uh, get this up and going. And I am gonna install this into my NVMe. I'm gonna put this into my NVMe as well. And give or take, I don't know, five, 10 minutes, depending on your internet and your CPU speed, uh, this should be installed pretty quickly. And there we have it. It took about two minutes for this computer to process all this information. Now, don't worry about the IP address that uh, is posted here because we're not gonna be using it, obviously, because we are gonna go through uh, the OpenWRT. Just remember the port, and in this case, it's gonna be 8112. And if you do forget, you can also come back here and it'll show you the port itself, 8112. Now, if you want, you can actually go in here and go to summary and add as a note. So we could edit this and then add 8112, you know, just right there. And it should pop up 8112. Now what I'm gonna do is uh, shut down this machine because we are not using this at all yet. And we're gonna start adding our little bits in here. So first thing we're gonna go into network and then we're actually gonna change this VMBR0 to VMBR1, which is our OpenWRT LAN side. And then next we're gonna head back into BVE test, go back into shell, and then we're gonna add our mount point. So PCT, which is Proxmox Container Toolkit, set 10, what is this, seven? 107, MP1, I'm just gonna call it MP1. You could call it MP2, MP3, it'll be mount point two, three, four, whatever you wanna call it. We have our Z pool, which we created a couple of videos ago, slash, comma, MP, equals slash mount and media. That's where we want to mount it on our VM. And then once you hit enter, it's gonna create a mount point. And we could double check this by going back into Deluge and go into resources and you're gonna see a new mount point right over here. So now we have that set up where our Deluge will be able to contact this machine. And we also have it set up that it's going through our OpenWRT. So we could now start this up. 
we're gonna have to do this process for a bunch of other services like sonar radar and all this other stuff so it becomes repetitive but once you do it once you don't have to do it again now that the luge has started up we can't have any access to it yet because we didn't set up a port forwarding so we're going to go back into our open wrt which in our case is 192.16.105.130 uh, nine and here we are back into our open wrt and in our networking we're going to go into firewall port forwarding and we're going to add and we're going to call this deluge and in the external port 8112 i'm just going to keep it as the same we're going to go back into the LAN side internal ip we're going to find this new ip right here deluge and we're going to use the same port 8112 and then we're gonna hit save. Now, you do have to memorize this 10.50.50.323 number just because other services will reference this IP later down the road. So this is the only main one that you would have to remember the ITP for. But otherwise, uh, this port forwarding is all set up and I could hit save and apply. Again, I'm gonna go back into that same IP, which is 139, but this time I'm gonna do 8112 and now I hit my Deluge web. And the default password for this is Deluge. And would you wanna recommend changing it now? You should, but I'm gonna say no, I'll change that later. Choose that, connect, and there we have our access. Now what's cool is on the bottom right, it actually shows your public IP address, which in our case is actually the VPN IP address. Now another thing you do have to set up on Deluge that doesn't come default is the labeling. So we do have to go to preference, uh, enter plugins, and then in label, we do have to enable this and then hit apply. What labeling does, it allows sonar, radar, and all this other stuff to actually create a label. So when you're downloading something, it knows what to reference to. So those are the only things you do have to set up. Obviously, you do have to set up some other bandwidth connections and all this other stuff that you play around with. Now, another thing to make sure is that we actually have our stuff all set up. For our downloads folder, it's obviously not going to be root.downloads anymore. It instead will be mnt slash media slash downloads if you want and then hit apply for that that's because that's the location of what we have set up which is the mount.media for our mount point now i still don't have the downloads folder in that actual uh share so i will have to create it down the road which in our case i'll just jump right over to that folder go into media and then i'll just create a new folder called downloads and once I apply that, you could see now there's a storage because it actually detect that folder and there's no error anymore. Again, we are using ZFS pool, which we can increase at any time. I just put in hundred gigs just for the hell of it, but we could change it to one terabyte or two terabytes if we wanted to. All right, now that we are done with Deluge, we could close this out. We'll leave OpenWRT open because we're gonna still be using that. And we're on to our next service. All right, so now I do have Sonar pre-installed and I did change all the stuff around already. So the resources, I already have the mount point set up and for networking, it already is, actually it's not pointing towards that. So I'm gonna change this and point it towards uh, VMBR1. And then I could start this up as well. And again, I don't remember the port for this. So I am actually gonna go to Proxmox Helper and look up the port for this particular one. So I'm gonna go over to Media go to sonar and then it should tell me 8989 so sonar is actually just mainly for shows uh, or anime actually so you could use it for either one it's a, so it's basically a pvr and what that does it's basically you set up what you want and then it'll automatically fetch it for you when it does come out so this is one of the must-have r services along with the next one which is radar jumping back to this we are looking at port 8989 and i am just going to edit this just to make sure that i have it 8989 into the notes and then i'm going to go back into open wrt go to status overview and make sure it's connected now so there we have it and all i need to do is go back to networking firewall port forwarding and then add that extra port so in this part i'm going to do sonar and then the port was 8989 ip address would be that sonar and then 8989, save, save and apply. And then we should be able to hit it. Just to double check it works, I'm gonna give that a try and there we have it. Now, just to double check, we do have this also. You can see it's 89 gigs. We do have the mounted media as well. All right, so we have Sonar installed. 
Next, we are going to uh, install Radar. As mentioned before, Radar is another big service that you would also use. So where is this Radar? I'm going to grab this. So I'm just going to copy here and then paste it in the command line. And we're just going to go through the steps like normal. Now, as far as Radar goes, it's more for movies. So uh, again, it's like a PVR just for movies itself. Anything that you search with that, it will actually be able to automatically fetch it for you through the services. Now, while we are waiting for that script to happen, it's going to take a couple of minutes. You can go down this list of media and anything that you find that says R, A-R-R, -R, is probably related somehow into this service. So that you got Bizarre, LiDAR, Prowler, uh, radar like all these services are interconnected somehow now I'm not going to go through installing every single one of these services but you the main ones are radar sonar lidar and prowler prowler is by far probably the most important out of all these services here which I'll explain a little bit down the road when we are installing it but it is very important to install prowler now there are some services that are not in here that uh, we might have to build our own container for, which will probably be another video, uh, mainly which something called Flare Solver. Basically that service is, as the name suggests, it's a Cloudflare solver for captures and stuff like that. Some of the indexers that you might hit will be behind a Cloudflare, which has timeouts and stuff like that, and you need to get a cookie in order to respond to that and access the website. And that's what Flare Solver mainly does. It's not in this list of services over here, so we're gonna have to build it ourselves. All right, now that that is done with uh, Radar, we have to do the same steps again. You see, this is 7878. I am gonna stop Radar while I'm here. So I'm gonna stop this. And then all I'm gonna do is hit up arrow until I get to the mount point and then change this to 108 and I can leave the rest because it's the same mount point that we're gonna be using. So I'm gonna hit enter on that, let that set in, go back into radar, go into network, change the network over to VMBR1, hit okay. And then now I could start this service and I know it was 79.79, so I'm just gonna make a little note over here. 79.79, okay. Am I correct about that? Oh, it was 78.78. So let me head back into that area and change that to 78.78, okay. And then it should be started, so I'm gonna go to my OpenWRT and I'm gonna add radar at 78.78. And internal IP should be radar and should come up right here. And then 7878, save. And let me double check if that is working. And all I have to do is just change this port to 7878. Oh, I forgot to hit apply. Save and apply. And there we go. We'll test that again. And here we have it. it hits perfectly. It does require you to set up some username and password if you want. You can disable this but it's basically up to you. Again, I'm not gonna go any further with what this setup is, but it is working. So now we could head back into our PV test. Again, I'm not gonna install every R service in this video. I personally will install it off to the side when I'm done. Just to not make this video any longer than it should be, I am gonna install the other service that we really need, which is Prowler. Now I'm gonna go back into PV test, go to shell, paste that down, and let that do its thing. All right, so Prowler is what you call an indexing service. It will take a collection of all the websites and then search for what you need in one area. Now, Sonar alone has its own little uh, indexers itself. I think it was five or six of them that you could just automatically attach. Same thing with uh, Radar, but Prowler has hundreds where it far surpasses what Sonar and Radar has. What Radar does now is takes all those indexers and makes it available for Sonar and Radar. This way, anytime you're trying to search for something inside those services, it will know to fetch from Prowler. Now our server is actually starting to look complete. We actually got a bunch of services going on and it's gonna go further even more as we install more services down the road. But for now, we'll leave it with this and set up our Prowler for a little bit. So I'm gonna head back into OpenWRT, uh, go to overview, make sure it's detected. So we're gonna go to Prowler, I see it. Network, firewall port forwarding and then we're gonna add that little thing in and I completely forgot what the port is so 9696 so here we're gonna do 9696 
and we're going to name this Prowler and IP address would be the same thing and 9696 save apply and then I just have to go here and do 9696 all right so here we do have to add some username because I'm going to go through this process so I'm just going to do something simple and then hit save and then one of the biggest things is, again, you can add your indexers, which we're not going to go through this part, but we are going to go through settings and go to apps. And this is where you would add your sonar and radar. So I'm going to go to, say, sonar. So we're going to leave this as sonar, full sync. Uh, we don't have to do any tags. Uh, but for sonar server, we could do here is actually get the IP address of what it was. So it should be 10.50.50.197. Uh, and if I double check, Right here 197 or you could go to status to get that information and then uh api key so what i need to do is actually go into that port 8989 we're going to go into settings uh go into ui uh, actually it's in general uh, we're going to have this api so we're just going to grab this and back into our prowler we are going to paste that api key test the connection and prowler services localhost i guess that didn't work so instead, I'll just put 192, no, 10.50.50. .50 uh, what was Prowler? 156. Oops. Let's do a test again because we didn't test that. Oh, there you go. We got the green check, which means everything is working. We have everything that we need and save. Now we have sonar added to our system. And if I go back into sonar, you don't see it now. But if I add any indexers from Prowler, it will actually start to appear in the indexers in here. Now, another thing we do have to set up is our client. So we're gonna have to add this and look for Deluge. And in here, we're gonna have to add that IP address, 10.50.50. Uh, what was it again? 232. We're gonna name this Deluge. And the password would be whatever you made that password for Deluge would be. We're gonna keep this category and that's what the label was for, the category name. And then we should be able to test this. And with the green check, we could hit save. And now we have our client up and, and installed. So anything we search for in the series, now would fetch through Prowler if we have indexer set up and it'll automatically go to Deluge to download, if all that makes sense. And that's basically it. You do have to do the same thing to Radar as far as setting up the whole uh, Deluge thing, uh, indexers and all this other stuff. But that's kind of the general gist of how to get all these services together. Again, there are a few services that are not here in his um, helper script that I would recommend. Anyway, that is it for me, guys. Uh, that is the setup of this media server for uh, fetching uh, media. And again, I will be doing a video on building your own service because we do need some stuff that is outside of the reach of helper script. So we would have to build it ourselves. And since we know that everything is running through our OpenWRT, everything is going through our VPN. So that's basically all set up. Anyway, if you guys have any questions about this, hit me up down in the comments below. And if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And that same my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.